What's going on everyone and welcome back. Uh, this actually is going to be episode 10. Part 9 was accidentally deleted somehow after recording. To kind of run you through what happened though, we went back to Yarakawa with Yuna in order to find a way to gain an alliance with them. Uh, in the meantime while going there we found out their best archers were actually have been captured and the village or city of Yarakawa was actually under a Mongol siege. We went and rescued the archers, brought them back, were able to kind of thwart that attack from the Mongols, and then kind of more so solidify that uh, oh, ghost bitch. title that we've earned. Oh. In this episode, we're going to be going back to Omi Village, which is Jin's original native homeland. And while he's there, we're going to be retrieving his armor and building up again more of the Tale of the Ghost and reinforcing Shimura's no cause. If you guys have enjoyed it up to this point though, I really appreciate a like, subscribe to keep up with the series, and we're just going to kick it off from here. How dare you! Oh, young master. I feared you were dead. <laughs> I came as soon as I could. It's good to see you, Yuriko. You look tired. Are you hungry? Not now. Thank you. The Khan's army must have marched past here. Have you had any trouble? A few bandits. Nothing I can't take care of. I've come for my father's... my armor. You refuse to wear it at Komoda Beach? A lot has changed since then. I hid it somewhere safe. Come this way. These old bones. I'll get Taichi to help me fetch it. He's at the cemetery. What's he doing there? Tending the grounds. Gathering plants for my poisons. Keeps vermin out of our food stores. I'm glad you're not alone. What about Lord Shimura? Alive. The Mongols captured him at Komoda. But we freed him. Oh. Others survived. And they're helping you? A few. Lady Musical. Good. She's been fighting alongside the boy since she was knee-high. <laughs> You'll have to tell me more about that someday. But it's just the two of you? A few others. Sensei Ishikawa. I haven't seen him in years. Does he still act like he's the only one who knows how to do things? Half the time he's right. But his aim is unmatched. He would certainly agree. Lord Sakai, you're back! I wish I could stay, but I hear you're taking good care of Yuriko. You've got that backwards, my lord. Daichi, help me get the Sakai armor. Go. I should pay my respects. The weeds haven't been pulled. I'm sorry. Our lord finally returns and his home is a mess. I'll fix it immediately. Don't worry about that now. Let's make sure the armor is perfect.
shade, my father. His grave close, his soul distant. Now I am alone. Great setting for a sad time. Go ahead and get this armor real quick. Arguably one of the coolest armors in the game. Add to it all the different color combo and options you get. As well through the merchant with the flower collections. Almost inside, my lord. Thank you, Tai Chi. Lightheaded. For a moment, I thought you looked. Face us, coward! Get inside. All right, so you guys get to see the cool armor. Looks even better with the headwear on it. I do believe that with this armor also, uh, it increases the standoff streak by one, if I'm not mistaken. We'll have to dive back into that. Correctly, Yuriko. Yarikawa giving us trouble again? The Yarikawa Rebellion was 20 years ago. Those men were with the Mongols. Of course. Seeing you like that, I'm still shaken up. I need to catch my breath. By the lake. Your favorite tree. Yes. Come. <coughs> you said earlier you've been making poisons. Keeps the vermin out of our rice. Can you make it stronger? Enough to kill a man? No one deserves that. Can you do it? The effects in larger doses are ugly. Good. Oh, my lord. Sit with me a moment. Poison. 
poison has never been the Sakai way. No Sakai had to fight the Mongol Empire. I need every weapon we have. Tsushima can't afford anything less. The Mongols have changed you, young master. The world has changed. My mother taught me about plants that heal, others that harm, even kill. But they must be consumed. How will you poison the invaders? A blowgun and darts. I've read of their use by a Genji warrior who studied with monks from the West. Will you help me? Promise me you'll remain the good man I know. I promise. I've looked after your every need since your mother carried you. I won't stop now. All I need is something to make a blowgun. Used to be plenty of reeds downriver, near the old crossing. Remember? You and your little friend gathered them to make little boats. Fuso and I, we spent all day reenacting the Battle of Dunnola. Be careful, Jin. The invaders have an outpost there now. Don't worry, I'll be back soon with reeds. I'll wait for you here. Looks like time and the stress of the Mongol invasion is uh, wearing a little bit on Yuriko's mental game. Don't think this little area, prefecture, I'm not sure where we're going, is too far away, so we'll kind of keep it in. We won't cut anything here. Yuriko is right. A Mongol outpost. So it looks like we're going to have to liberate this village in order to actually finish Ghosts from the Past. It's kind of in the same general vicinity here. So we got a nice two-for-one deal. Uh, normal mission run-through is the bonus is that we do kill enemies without being seen. There's going to be three of them. Outside of that, we got some Sashimono banners. Wow, I can't talk today. Uh, we got to take out the War Camp General and then obviously destroy the Black Powder Cache that will be around the map or around the village. I would start here, but there's two of them, so we're not going to maybe pull off the bonus mission here. And I do believe with a bonus mission like this as well, that's not just if you get seen in general, that's if you can't finish the mission in general doing that. So that was kind of a weird way to say that, but what I'm trying to say in short is that if you go into an area of this village and you are spotted and you do fight them, and you're able to kind of go undetected to the next area, you still have the ability to unlock that bonus mission or bonus challenge. Well, that sucks. I thought I wouldn't be able to see in that grass. Guess I kind of stepped out of those flowers, didn't I? So, like you can see, though, that bonus mission didn't go away. I was obviously spotted here. Game Grange, a little bit of mistakes, you know?
Leia looks pretty straightforward. We got that guy off to the right that was fishing. It looks like he's just got kind of a solo drop down spot. And then after that, we can work to the left as well. I'm going to work my way uh, counterclockwise around these group of individuals. And then we should, based on where they're set up and how there's enough cover, we should be able to knock out these three uh, opponents without being seen. Yeah, I'm thinking that higher ledge there with the dog is going to make that a lot harder to pull off, so I'm going to try and work around here. I don't think they're going to work around to me. Realistically, we'll take this guy out silently, and then we'll assassinate the guy fishing over here, and then we're good to go and knock out the rest of the objectives of this mission. Leaders off of the moon stance, and that'll be the final of the Ford unlock. I'll be honest, it's probably my, this is my favorite stance in the game. Yeah, I'm getting tired of that guy, so I'm gonna take him out. Where you going, bud? Why are you running? Alright, I wanna shoot a man in the back as he runs away, though. Alright, they got us fighting like 10 Mongols here all at the same time. Let's throw a couple smoke black powder bombs here. Two 
two more stances, it looks like. Or sorry, two more leaders to take out, and then we'll unlock the last stance of the game, which is gonna be the moon stance. Looks like after we take out this other one, we'll have you left with uh, one more to take out. That's pretty badass right there, look at that. That was a good shot. We don't gotta do this, doggy. Yeah, I figured we'd have something to collect back in one of these little camp spots. We'll loot this chest, grab the banner, and then I think we have like one or two things left to do, and then we'll liberate this village. And yeah, so two more banners. We'll liberate the village. Once we do that, we'll be able to grab these reeds that we need and we'll start uh, crafting some poison arrows which will be something that we will use throughout the game. Or sorry, not po poison arrows but poison blow darts. I'm pretty sure I could have grabbed those reeds back there. Uh, right under the bridge is where they were, but we'll grab them after we collect this. Alright, another one bites the dust. New technique points, new skill points, all that fun stuff. Uh, so, all we need to do now is we'll work back. You can see right there the marker under the bridge. We're going to work our way back there and grab the reeds and then go back to Yuriko. I'm going to go ahead and just cut that part and then I will catch back up with you guys once we return back to the camp.
Jean. Alone in the world. You caught me thinking about Lord Sakai. I try not to do that. He loved you in his way. Enough of the past. We have a blowgun and darts. All I need now is the poison. Of course, young master. Come with me. I have a small camp where I gather plants and herbs for ointments. And poison. It kills vermin within moments. Make it strong enough for the invaders. Nice to ride with you again. You and Lord Shimura taught me to ride. <laughs> On that runt pony. <laughs> you sat so tall and straight in your little saddle. Like you were the Shogun himself. No, little Jin. What's so funny? I just remembered it was out here you nearly killed your uncle. What? You were three or four. The poor man was trying to teach you how to hold your wooden kodachi. You wanted to chase butterflies. I know the story. My uncle's black eye took weeks to heal. <laughs> Lord Shimura and your father laughed so hard, I fear they'd both choke to death. I don't remember my father's laugh. He lost his humor after your mother got sick. But you have your father's laugh. Here we are. I'll go some at and a campfire. You sleep out here? <laughs> Only when I spend the day foraging for plants. I'll look for the flowers we need. Rest, Yuriko. I will get them for you. Don't eat the seeds, they're poisonous. I'm not a child, Yuriko. Oh. <laughs> I know. Remember how we gather flowers for your mother? She arranged them for the little alcove at home. That should be enough. Bring them to me, young master. Your plants. Good. We extract the seeds, crush them, make a paste, and dip the needles. Make sure the dose is strong. It should do what you need. It's done. You're sure he came this way? The old woman has a camp around here somewhere. Listen. Someone's coming. Stay there, Yuriko. Let's see if this poison works. He will regret what he did to Sadamune and the others. I just want uh, slight trigger warning. The fallouts of how these guys take the poison is pretty damn brutal. So be warned. Yeah, it really doesn't waste any time in uh, making that pretty miserable. Don't worry. I dealt with them. Oh, 
Sometimes I forget you're a grown man. I forget sometimes, too. We should get back to the estate. I'll stay. I need to straighten the place up. Don't push yourself too hard. Hush! You are not a child, and I'm old enough to take care of myself. What other kinds of poison can you make? Always so impatient. There is another. It causes confusion and rage. But the ingredients... What were they? Try to remember. It sounds useful. Legend grows, it comes with a health boost, and we're also going to get that last uh, tool. So we're finally going to unlock the wind chime here. Gods will investigate all the My wind chime fans. Chimes can be a distraction. Okay, and this is probably the least one I will use. And I think they kind of knew that with everybody else too, which is why there's only one upgrade to it. Alright, we're going to bump up the standoff streak. No, it has petals. Oh. A flower. No, not that. Oh, mother, I wish you were here. All right, we're going to have a little bit of a distance to travel here again, so I'm going to cut that, and I will see you guys when we get there. All right, we're just outside of Shimmer's base. We're coming in, we're going to talk to him, and then we're going to get an idea of how we need to go about uh, finishing up Act 2. Thanks to your efforts, we have an army to reclaim my castle. I told you, you know would have come through. I'm already arranging her payment. The Shogun's reinforcements will be here soon. Before they arrive, we must resolve a new problem. My scouts intercepted orders from the Khan, addressed to Duzo. His mercenaries are poised to strike our flank. Do you know where Rizo is now? Not far. Fort Koyasan. You do not have to face him yourself. He was my friend. I will deal with him. Do what you must. Our forces will be ready for battle when you return. Yuna may want to join me for this. But do you think he's real? Of course he's real. Would you like to see what I have? Not a dead spirit. Impossible. He murders me. Dreams. I can't take everything. What are you leaving behind? You're leaving. Your uncle kept his word. A boat sails at dawn tomorrow. I need your help one last time. I found Ryuzo hiding in Fort Koyasan. I can't. Please understand. I spent my life working for this. Going to bed hungry. Risking my neck so we'd have enough money to start a new life on the mainland. I can't give up now. I'm not asking you to. Help me defeat Ryuzo, and I'll see you off myself. This is your battle, Jin. Not mine. All I want, all we need is to start a new life. I won't stop you then. Thank you, Yuna. For everything. I hope you find peace. You too. My lord. Listen to your sister, Tucker. She'll take care of you. 
Goodbye, Lord Sakai. I can do this alone, under cover of night. Music's giving me a medieval vibe. And while that sentiment was nice, uh, the foreshadowing for those who've played this game is pretty crazy, I'll admit. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have another decent trek to make, so I apologize, but we're going to cut this again here to kind of save you guys the time there. And then I will catch back up once we get to our next location. Alright guys, so on the way traveling up, I noticed that we have a general here. From where we started out in the video and progressed to at this point, I do believe we have one more leader to take out to unlock the moon stance. So I wanted to make sure that I kicked the recording back off here for you guys. And as you can see, we did just unlock the moon stance. That's going to be the last of the four. And to my knowledge, this is going to be the one that's most effective against brutes, potentially. Yep. There we go. And that's brutes of uh, all different kinds. The guys with the axes, the ones with uh, firework, explosive, whatever you want to call that thing. And so if we get a second later here, not that it matters. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll go ahead and, sorry for the voice crack there. What we'll do is we'll finish off this little standoff fight. I believe there's a hostage just up the hill from us as well. So we'll see what they got to say to us. And then I, I want to say we're still two, three hundred meters out, so a little bit longer way, and I'll most likely cut it then too. And resume once we get to the next location. I like how that guy back there with the spears at least gives me the time of day to start off a fight, you know? It's a, a Mongol with some honor, it looks like. Was giving me four honor vibes if you guys did any of that, you know. You got some respect in one of those games, you let everyone do their 1v1s. Don't be one of them backstabbers. I was actually never good at that game. I sucked at it, and I was way too late to the party to even want to be motivated, to be honest with you. But for those of you who do play that game and are good at it, hats off. That is easily one of the harder uh, sword style fighting games I've ever played. You'll be free soon. My lord, we were on the lake when the Mongols rode into Koshimizu farmstead. My family protected Koshimizu for years. I'll see your people saved. Thank you, Lord Saka. Alright, so he's going to give us some kind of event on the map, it looks like, that we can visit. Uh, but like I said, we're still a little whiles out. I'm going to cut it from here, and then I will catch back up to you guys when we get to our location. A nest of traitors. Better scout the fort. I'm not sure if they just skipped over the cinematic there or what happened, but. If I can wait. recall, Shh. you yeah. get away. I won't let you do this alone. If you now won't come with you, then I have to. You're not trained for this. In Yarikawa, you said we can save our home if we stand together. I stand with the ghost. I can't pit you against Mongols. If anything happened, at least let me create a distraction. Draw some of them away. Even the odds for you. All right. When they chase you, ride back to camp as fast as you can. I won't let you down. Go. I'll make my move now. Dogs! Mongols are nothing but ugly dogs! I'll tell Lord Shiburai you're here! The samurai will come for you! They'll take your heads, you coward! Well, at least he's got a horse, because 
I'm not entirely sure what Taku is even going to do in that situation. I don't think I'm going to be able to climb over anywhere over here. I think the goal was that with Taku pulling him out that we're really supposed to just go through the front door, so... We'll go check it out. This game just really does a good job setting the scene, like even in times of chaos, like well done, the lighting and the, the mood the and the movement with the wind and everything is just no awesome. Result. There's a reason why I brought myself back to this game after three years. Honestly, credit to, uh, I think his name is Mayor Gaming. I saw some of his uh, shorts, probably makes, honestly, some of the best. You, you. Ghost shorts I've seen. So if you guys have watched them or haven't, highly recommend. And again, his name I think is Mayor Gaming. But uh, if you like cool like music mashups with good cinematic cuts, he, uh, he he has it down for sure. So if you haven't already noticed, the coolest part about the Brute Stance is that kind of upward kick he does. That will full send some people. Just a heads up. I believe that movement works against normal fighters and mongols throughout here. So if you're on a cliff edge, give him that, you know, that big boot Sparta kick. Send him flying. <laughs> So, it's good to see you. You know why I've come. Yes. I made sure you'd know where to find me. The Khan wants to meet you. I'm not here to talk. You betrayed us all. We can save our home together. It doesn't have to be like this. Yes, Yuzo. It does. Lord Sakai! Lord Sakai! Please, wake up! Taka... How? You were gone so long. I knew you were in trouble. I came to help, but the Mongols caught me. <clears throat> Damn. We have to get free. They're going to kill us. Only if we let them. Try to get loose. <clears throat> Just need to loosen this. <clears throat> Must be thirsty. Arag. Milk from my favorite horse. The final gift to me. She broke her egg yesterday. So I fed her to my men. We do what we must, Lord Sakai. That is why you and I are both survivors. I am Samurai. No, you are more than that. You are the ghost. Convince your people to join me, and I will give them peace. We will never serve you. Hmm. Your uncle... ...said the same thing... ...when I asked him to end this war. He refused to be your slave. I, too, have pride in family. And I know what it's like to live in their shadow. 
Why should we settle for scraps when we deserve to be legends? He is a legend. Mm, see? Your people will follow you. Join me and save them. You want to divide and conquer. You did it, Diffuso. Not us. Oh. Your legend does not even care about you. <clears throat> you kill him. You can go. Your friend died for you. Now I must find another, and you must choose again. The craziest part about all that is that before going through all that mental gymnastics that he's doing with them, he could have just as easily taken out Jin. Uh, but with my understanding of the Mongol invasion and how they kind of grew throughout history was actually by more so a submissive factor, keeping people in positions of power, keeping their cultures, who they pray to, etc, etc, uh, but with the allegiance to the Khans, starting with Genghis. Uh, I'll have to brush up on my, my Mongol history a little bit, but kind of maintain some relevance with that in mind. All right, so we're going to recover our gear. We're going to try and fight our way out of here. Kill them all. Again, it's nice when they just put our armor so close to us. I can't complain. Alright, that was pretty interesting. I don't know how that happened, but uh, the first guy that I chopped down, as he was like kind of falling, and I went for the second guy, it swiped in the back of the initial guy's neck, and he even grabbed for it as he was still falling. I don't know if my eyes deceived me there, but that was pretty interesting. Missed that mark entirely. I'm a separate note. Imagine having a property right here on this hill. Oh, Ah, oh, shit. Jin! You know. I just saw the Khan ride out to Druzo. Where's Taka? I know he's here. 
He left a message saying he'd followed you. Where is he? No. 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 All right, I feel like a TV show ending here at such a pivotal, dramatic moment. He wasn't supposed to be here. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. I appreciate you checking back in. Again, we did lose episode 9, so this will serve as part 10. And I will see you guys back in part 11. So if you guys enjoyed this at any point, please consider leaving a like. Also, think about subscribing to keep up with the series. And I will see you guys next time.